These are the brand new wheels from Shimano that are going to become available a little bit later this year. And we're going to use them for a little experiment. Now, this one here is the C40 and this one is the C60 and both are completely new to Shimano's wheel lineup. This one, the C40, has been designed as an all-round wheel, super light, just 1,355 grams, but yet also aerodynamic. Shimano tell us, in fact, that it is two watts faster than their previous aerodynamic wheel, the C50. And they've achieved that partly through a new rim profile and partly they say because they've made it much much wider so it sits much better with modern wider tires so it's actually 28 millimeters wide so wide in fact that they've produced their own slimline brake pads for it this one the c60 however is the out and out aerodynamic wheel if this one creates two watts less drag compared to the c50 this one creates 16 watts less drag, so that is significantly faster. Although Shimano haven't actually told us exactly how they have tested those wheels. But what I want to know, and what I've always wanted to know, is just actually how much difference there is between shallow wheels and deeper wheels when climbing. We're told that this is a climbing wheel, but yet this one is just 125 grams more and creates 14 watts less drag at higher speeds. So we're gonna find out exactly what happens when we put the two head to head. Our climb of choice today is the Col de Rates, which is in Alicante in Spain. It's six and a half kilometers long and 5.6% average gradient. So it should be reasonably quick. Any guesses? Run number one, it's the C40s. Are you ready? Run number two, C60s, aero. With two runs up the Col Rates under my belt now, it is time for some results. I've not seen these yet, so I'm just gonna click into the lap function. Right, here we go. So the C40s were 16 minutes, 52 seconds. And the C60s, 16 minutes and 55 seconds. So actually two and a half seconds between them. I can't quite believe that, that's unbelievable. And the average power for each one was 326 watts. Now that's not guaranteeing that those watts were laid down in a completely even manner. So there could be a bit of discrepancy in there, but that is uncanny that they are almost exactly the same speed up that climb. I suppose you could uh, extrapolate that and say that if the climb is any steeper than this one, which is five and a half percent, then the C40s are going to get progressively faster and faster compared to these. But you can bet your bottom dollar that these C60s are now going to be a heck of a lot faster down at the other side. Which one matters to you, I suppose, ultimately is a decision for you. But I can't believe that. That's almost slightly weird, isn't it? Right, well, if you have enjoyed this little dip into science, then make sure, first of all, that you subscribe to GCN. We regularly try and tackle some of your burning questions about cycling and cycling equipment with the help of helpful brands like Shimano that lend us this amazing stuff. And then, once you've subscribed by clicking on the globe, why not check out a couple of other GCN Does Science videos where, firstly, we test out how much of an effect bike weight has on climbing speed. That's just up there. Or Matt and Dan put on fat rucksacks to find out how much body weight affects climbing speed. And that one is just down there. <laughs>